Hi everyone, my name is Ron. Welcome to the OpenLMIS demo videos. This is the second in our series. In this video, we're going to look at some of the tools available in OpenLMIS for setting up the system and for ongoing administration of the system. The primary mechanism for initial configuration of the system is through a series of uploads of CSV files. OpenLMIS includes a collection of utilities for uploading each file. For example, upload all your facilities, upload all your products. We won't go into the specifics of any one of these files here. There is a detailed configuration guide available on the OpenLMIS.org website. Included in each one of these upload utilities are mechanisms for validating the data in the file as well as validating the consistency of the data across files. If there are errors in a file, OpenLMS will flag those records and allow you to fix them before uploading again. Otherwise, it will confirm the number of records that were successfully uploaded. OpenLMIS also includes a collection of screens for managing individual objects. For example, let's go look at the screen for managing products. And let's drill down on a particular product here. We found doxycycline. And OpenLMIS is showing that doxycycline 100 milligram strength 12 tablet strip is being used in both the essential meds program and the malaria program. Let's take a look at the specifics of the product. There are a number of basic attributes about the product. Again, its form, its strength, the, the dispensing unit, the pack size, um, as well as individual things like is it currently active, is it a full supply product. Other basic product information includes special handling and storage instructions, um, barcodes, alternate pack sizes, as well as attributes of physical packaging of both dispensing units and cartons. We can also look at the details of um, the programs to which this particular product has been assigned. We saw earlier it's assigned to essential meds and malaria. OpenLMIS allows you to classify its product category by program. For example, in essential meds, doxycycline is being used as an antibiotic, whereas in malaria, it's being used as a prophylaxis. They can be, it can be activated or deactivated individually. You can actually control the display order as it appears on requisition forms as well as on printed reports if you don't want to rely on the standard alphabetical sort and also specify the standard doses per month, which in turn affect replenishment calculations. These different screens for editing various objects in the system can be used for creating new objects as well as for ongoing management of individual objects. Once you have the system all set up, OpenLMIS provides a collection of reports to validate for you that the system has been set up correctly. So for example, if we had set up the malaria program running at a particular health center, but neglected to assign the role of submitting requisitions to somebody who works at that health center, we would run this, we, we'd run this report to verify that we hadn't missed anything like that. And this is now checking to make sure that no facility has a program where there's nobody assigned to support it. OpenLMIS is designed to interoperate with external systems. An additional configuration collection here is configuring the format of files that are exchanged with different systems. So for example, OpenLMIS will export order files to an ERP system. And this particular utility allows you to control the format of those files. You can specify the names for column headers and decide whether or not there will be column headers. You can change the order of columns in the file simply by scooting them around like that. You can specify the format of date fields that will appear in the file. And you can remove or include individual columns in that file. Same options are available for shipment file. If you expect to receive shipment files back from an ERP system, you can define the format of the files you will be receiving. And budget files, if you have a finance system or an ERP system that are allocating budget amounts to facilities for individual programs each period. One more configuration utility we'll look at today is for setting up um, the calculations for ideal stock amount or ISAs for replenishment of certain programs, in particular a vaccination program. Let's take a look here at um, a particular vaccine product. These formulas follow the standard WHO guidelines. And what we see here are the parameters for the different terms in the replenishment calculation. For example, this says 3.9% of the catchment area population is considered a candidate for using this vaccine, number of doses of patient per year, et cetera. We've also added fields so that you can specify a minimum or floor value, such that regardless of how these calculations come out, you would always supply the facility with this much as well as the ceiling or maximum value, such that regardless of how the cal calculations come out, 
you would never overstock a facility above this particular number. This concludes our look today at the various configuration options in OpenLMIS. In our next video, we'll take a more detailed look at some of the configuration options. Thank you.